What's up, Sim Racers? This is Larry at TJR Sim here. And what's up, gamers? I'm sitting in a gamer chair here that you might be interested in. Uh, this is coming from Dow Inks. This is a model number is 57D, and uh, this was provided to me uh, for the purpose of this video review. All of my opinions are, of course, my opinions, and these are not words guided by anybody uh, else, right? So let's dive into it. So I want to cover a few things here about this chair. Uh, obviously price, right? I do want to cover packaging because it's very important how this chair gets to you safely. Some features of the chair itself, what sets it apart from the rest, and of course uh, the comfort and my impressions of this chair itself. So, with that said, this is a model 57D. I will leave the link in Amazon. Uh, it's actually an Amazon link. You can go there and buy it right now. The price is uh, $189.99, uh, $189 but I expect to see some Christmas sales going on on this thing here pretty soon, if not already up and going. So very price, priced very well. I've bought lots of gaming chairs in the past, and uh, this one actually sets itself apart. I, I used to actually look at this gaming chair for a while, and uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't obviously pull the trigger on it, but which was good because I got sent one for review, uh, which is good. But I've been really interested in reviewing this uh, this chair, so. Like I said, packaging. I'll scroll up some pic pictures here of the packaging and how it came to me. Very professionally packed. Uh, everything was secured in its own little pockets or its own little boxes. Uh, the fabric was covered up with some plastics, as you'll see. And uh, yeah, it, it, it was done very well. Also in the packaging, what I liked is it had self-installed screws, especially on the seat base itself, which I really appreciate it because a lot of gaming chairs I buy the little fabric they put on the bottom of the chair tends to overlap to where the bolts are and it gets stuck in the threads and stuff. Uh, so for one, that's ensured that not to happen. For two, all the bolts actually thread into the base, uh, which I've had that problem before too, where I'd have to re-tap it. All, all these little uh, precautionary uh, things are taking place ahead of time before you get it right. So uh, yeah, you're ensuring that you're getting a good package. So I really appreciated the package on this. Uh, features. So I want to get up for that for the features. Obviously, one feature is the uh, footrest here. So you got a footrest here. Uh, I'll throw up a pic of my daughter sitting in this. She's five five, and this actually fits her perfect. But me being six foot, uh, you can tell my feet hang off a little bit uh, on the chair. So I usually sit like this. So it's not really that big deal or crisscross or one foot on the ground because I'm twirling around like this when I'm gaming. But yeah, this you know. Feature-wise, it's just something to keep keep in mind. Now, this does, of course, flip up, as you see here, and we can tuck it away here. And actually, to keep ensure that it doesn't slide all the way out, it has two O-rings. It comes with an extra O-ring as well. That's a uh, slot on the back of this rod uh, that allows you to pull this out and has a positive stop so you don't just pull the, uh, the base all the way out, right? So, let me get up. This is made, I think, for taller people. They have different models, of course, but... Uh, this one I picked for myself because I usually look for a wide base here. So this is 19.7 inches by 19.7 inches. And what I particularly like about this as well is that the sides are flat. So it can fit us bigger guys <laughs> or bigger people in the seat as well uh, with complete comfort without it digging into your thighs. So very, very good as far as that goes. Uh, of course, you got your lower lumbar and then you got your, your, uh, your headrest here. Uh, of course, I, I put mine up here because I'm tall, uh, so you can obviously strap it in here as well. Uh, this is made out of a, a faux leather, they call it, microfiber. Reminds me of the uh, the uh, sports seats you get in sports cars as far as how it feels. So that uh, perforated sports leather, uh, but it's not really leather. It's uh, more of an Alcantara type material. This is an Alcantara. It's called faux leather, but uh, it feels similar. Uh, it's very soft. feels good. Very easy to keep clean. Uh, like I get dog hair on here. Obviously I have dogs, uh, but yeah, very good. Okay, going on to dimension some more. Like I said, it's 32.7 from here to here, 19.7, 17.3 to 20 and a half inches up as far as your adjustability. Obviously this goes can raise and lower. Uh, you can also tilt as a tilt here, recline to back to like 180 degrees, and you can actually lock that tilt into place wherever you want it, which I do like. Um, 17.2 inches here and uh, 2.8 and then of course as you tilt this this articulating as well I like that this kind of goes down uh, and, it's, and it's not these little plastic 
pucks that just dig in and on your skin. So these are very comfortable. And plus the way I hold a controller, I'm usually holding it down in my lap. And this allows me to hold my controller properly when I'm gaming. So I do like that feature. So it is it's about right. That's some features that you would use for gaming. Lower lumbar. Um, this is really cool. It's adjustable, of course, as you can see here, up and down. And you can see I reveal a USB connection here. Uh, this is vibrating. I love that feature, actually. It's vibrating uh, lower lumbar support to uh, plug it into any USB cable. Or if you don't want it, just unplug it, set it aside for later, and you won't have it dangling. If you want to store it, of course, you can flip around to the back here, put it in the pocket for safekeeping so you never have it. Speaking while we're back here, I like that, you know, with these straps in the way, right? So, but you have the build of this, going back to the build, is, you know, you obviously have the plate that's coming up here. Let's see if this is getting this on camera. Yeah, got the plate coming up here, but I like that it's covered up and make it look nice and, and fancy. But, uh, also, the seat, seat itself has uh, cushions in it. I would consider this a firm build. It's not soft, uh, as far as like a pillow soft it's more of a firm build so it should last quite a while uh, you'll have a little bit of break-in period especially if you're a light person I'm 250 but this holds up to 300 pounds it says which is perfect for me so I don't expect it to wear out or, or excessively break in right and and and, <laughs> and then you'd be unhappy with it after some time so yeah yeah so it's, that covers that uh, also cool feature here this is a cool pad. It's actually surprisingly cool. Uh, it holds some cool air. Obviously, your body will heat it up eventually, but uh, it's very refreshing on, on some warm days. But uh, you can put it on the backrest, or you can set it here on the bottom as well for whatever you want. However you want to use it on your backrest or your or your bum. Some Velcro here that it'll stick to as well, which I just uh, uh, latch over like so. And then you could latch under as well and then have a nice cool back right so pretty cool excuse the pun uh, oh uh, did I mention the bottom here is actually springs and stuff like what you'd have on a mattress so that actually what helps hold its its uh, firmness for you as well so I expect this to last quite a long time with those springs instead of just having a um, compressible room in there that's gonna compress and take its shape and hold that shape of your bum <laughs> afterwards for a long time. Now this of course regenerate its own shape, which I really, really like. So it should be a nice and uh, lasting chair. So, so comfort wise, this is the biggest thing, right? So how does it feel? For me, like I said, it's a little bit of a firm build. I like that. I don't like it too soft because I know it's not going to basically wash away from me after a while. Uh, you already saw the footrest that comes out. Of course you can use it or don't use it I like that feature uh, it's nice thick padding here the lower lumbar and the headrest of course you can see me oh this is in camera you can see me sitting in here that dress is perfectly positioned for me being six foot tall uh, this is this feels good I like it yeah it feels really good I've been actually using this thing for for uh, quite a few days now and um, yeah I've been enjoying it been playing some, some Call of Duty or, or you know, other games and stuff as well but uh, yeah, it's very comfortable. Uh, the adjustment I noticed as far as the lower lumbar, you can remove it if you don't like it uh, because it will kind of push you forward a little bit, right? But you have this, whoa, where you can go back and then up, all the way up, and then of course lock it in place. So if you're more upright and you need to keep your, uh, your posture while you're sitting, this is perfect for that. So all in all, I really like it. It's uh, really cool. Um, I think I'll keep it. <laughs> all but, in all, it's a really good chair. Very comfortable. And I, I think you might enjoy it if you're uh, someone of my stature or smaller. My daughter, uh, she's smaller. She enjoyed the comfort of it. Uh, wife took a seat, it, seat in it as well. She's around five as well. Uh, yeah, everybody was happy with it. They, of course, needed this pillow adjusted down lower because you're not quite as tall as me. But yeah, other than that, it was great. All right, well, uh, leave some comments below about the chair. Uh, ask me any questions that you may have, and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Until next time, I'll see you out there on the track or online gaming. I'm out.